Turning to our top story, Republicans in the U.S. House of Representatives have released a memo accusing the Federal Bureau of Investigation of misconduct. Democrats say the memo is aimed at undermining the FBI investigating Trump's presidential campaign. I'm joined now by Rink Schenkman. He's the author of the book, Political Animals, How Our Stone Age Brain Gets in the Way of Smart Politics. Um, Rick, well, let's begin with politics. I'm not sure how smart this type of politics is, but certainly this memo is divisive and very controversial. Uh, what's the potential damage here? Really, where do we go from here? Well, the potential damage is to Donald Trump. What he has done in releasing this memo is basically saying, uh, I don't care about the FBI as an institution. It serves my political purposes to have this memo out there. At least he thinks it serves his purposes. And so I'm going to get this thing out there. Basically what this is is it reads to me like a uh, GOP talking points uh, Republican memo. It's not really a document that's got a lot of evidence to it. There's no logic to it. Um, I don't see how it's going to help him. He thinks it's going to help him because the FBI is after him, Mueller is after him, and he thinks if he knocks the FBI, this is a way to uh, put the investigation uh, uh, off kilter and maybe give him an excuse to get rid of Rosenstein, the deputy attorney general, and uh, possibly Mueller as well. So um, what does this mean, Rick, in terms of Robert Mueller's actual investigation? And do you think Rod uh, Rosenstein is going to lose his job? Well. Rod Rosenstein might very well lose his job because what Trump is doing is he's going to uh, get this news out there. Fox News is going to be out there blasting this all day long. They're going to go blah, 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 blah. And his conservative base is going to go, oh, it's an outrage because the assumption here that he's making is that the base is going to be infuriated by the fact that there were some people who didn't want Donald Trump to be elected president and they gave the FBI some information against Donald Trump in the course of the fall campaign of 2016. So that's a fact. We've known that. So what's the crime here? The crime here is that Christopher Steele, the uh, British uh, uh, former spy who created this dossier against Trump, that he didn't want Donald Trump to uh, uh, be elected. Well, of course he didn't, not based on uh, all the uh, dirt that he had dug up on Donald Trump. And somehow Donald Trump thinks that he's going to get his base well, to kind of not really think well, logically about this, that they're going to just start running away, and that'll give him the excuse to get rid of Rosenstein. I think, and of course, Rosenstein's the only guy who can fire Mueller. Well, Rick, I think the part of the problem here is, or at least what the Republicans are alleging, is the FBI and the Justice Department are not objective in their investigation and going about doing this, especially with the whole surveillance program and getting the judges to, uh, you know, issue that permit to do those kinds of things. Democrats have dismissed this memo as profoundly misleading. They have a memo of their own. Will they ever get a chance to release that memo? Uh, apparently they are because uh, Paul Ryan, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, uh, just came out this morning and said he wants the Democratic memo out. So whether it's going to come out today, I doubt it, but it's going to come out in the next couple of days once uh, Ryan has put his prestige behind it. And once that happens, then you have to hope that uh, the public is reasonable, the larger public outside his base is reasonable and draws the, uh, the obvious conclusions, which is based on the facts as we now know it, that the FBI did not in begin an investigation of Donald Trump's Russia ties because of this uh, dossier from Christopher Steele. In fact, the investigation began before that when George Papadopoulos on Trump's own campaign team uh, put out some information uh, in Australia that uh, Donald Trump uh, was getting uh, dirt on Hillary Clinton during the campaign. And that was in the spring. This is in the fall of 2016. Well, we could continue this conversation for a long time, but we'll have to leave it there. Ring Shankman, thank you so much. All right, thank you.